Tens of thousands of Brazilian workers have taken the latest hit in the multi-billion dollar corruption scandal involving state oil company Petrobras, as a wave of job losses since November follows intensifying probes into price-fixing, bribery and political kickbacks. As the scandal has deepened in recent months, key infrastructure projects have been suspended or scrapped, some suppliers have sought bankruptcy protection and job losses are mounting. Nationally, Brazil shed payrolls for a third straight month in February, bringing job losses over the last year to 47,228. Petrobras's size as the biggest company in Brazil amplifies the scandal. Each year, it invests double the government's entire discretionary infrastructure budget, giving it enormous power to shape Latin America's largest economy. All told, economists expect the chain reaction set off by the scandal will tip an already weak economy into its worst recession in a quarter century a harsh reversal for a country that was booming just a few years ago. Two refineries worth a combined $30 billion have been cancelled. Comperge, a $1.3 billion fertiliser plant, and dozens of production and drilling ships, each costing hundreds of millions of dollars, are in limbo. The city government of Itaboraí, a former boomtown, says there were 17,000 workers at Comperge in December, and less than 3,000 now. In Itaboraí, new office parks, hotels, stores and high-rise apartments stand empty. The damage spread quickly after the scandal prompted Petrobras to put 23 suppliers, including some of Brazil's largest construction firms, on a payment blacklist. Five of the companies have filed for bankruptcy protection since November, slowing projects like Comperge and halting the building of new production ships. More bankruptcy petitions are possible. Then oil prices fell to six-year lows, adding to the woes. Even if work returns, there will be less of it. Petrobras plans to cut 2015 investment by as much as a third. The impact is also being felt beyond the oil industry. The 23 implicated firms are among Brazil's most ubiquitous, building everything from ports and highways to stadiums and other facilities for the 2016 Rio Olympics. Cooperating witnesses say politicians and political parties received kickbacks on inflated contracts from other state-run companies such as Utility Electrobras. That's raised concerns the probe will delay completion of Amazon hydro dams and transmission lines needed to save off electricity shortages. Brazil's government is so concerned that it's rushing to sign leniency accords with the banned companies. If they admit guilt, return stolen funds and pay fines, the ban on receiving money from Petrobras and the federal government will end, no matter the outcome of criminal and civil suits.